Hello everyone, welcome to the web series on Artificial Intelligence, IP University. Hi, I am your course instructor Shashank Krustagi. Now we would be discussing Artificial Intelligence topic by topic. So first I would be telling you what is AI, the definition of AI, Artificial Intelligence. AI is concerned with the design of intelligence. The main purpose of artificial intelligence is to design the intelligence in artificial devices. Artificial that is made by human beings, it is not existing naturally. So building intelligence into man-made systems is known as AI. Man-made, by man-made we mean artificial. Intelligence is the property in which machine behaves in best possible manner. Intelligence by human beings is also sometimes said as to behave just like human beings. Intelligence is something which characterizes human. So we have this diagram which is thought versus behavior and you can say human like performance versus ideal performance. So we can have our artificial intelligence systems who can uh, think like human as you can say in the second quadrant the devices that can think like human beings uh, Turing test I will explain this in the next slide and we can have the systems that think rationally rationally means logically we will also have uh, another video on rationality and rationally how to think rationally and we can have artificial agents that can act like human beings like cognitive AI where the systems act like human they tend to just replicate all the motions that human beings do and the last but not least we have the agents artificial agents that can act rationally that can systems that can act rationally act logically so discussing the Turing test with you all Alan Turing is said to be the father of artificial intelligence he gave invention of artificial intelligence we have the Turing test now I would be telling you what is Turing test we have two rooms separated by a wall in one room we have a human interrogator that asks some questions to the person or computer sitting in another room now the computer or person basically we have a computer in the other room but the human does not know uh, the interrogator does not know who is sitting there so the computer has to fool the human being by uh, uh, acting like a human so the human asks some questions and the computer replies now the computer has to convince the human that it is not a computer if the human or if the interrogator fails to reliably distinguish the human from computer then the computer does possess some artificial intelligence now this test says that the computer sitting in the room just behaves like the human beings okay so the interrogator fails to distinguish between the computer or the human now we would be discussing the typical AI problems in market intelligent behavior in human beings some applications and limitations of AI so the typical AI problems are first of all we have planning root activity that is used by Google Maps or you can say Ola cab when you book your Ola cab uh, it seeks your current location and the location where you wanna go and it uh, its algorithm gives you the shortest possible time route this is artificial intelligence problem and the second problem we have is speech recognition that in iPhones or Macs or iPad you uh, you use we, uh, we have Siri or in Windows we have Cortana etc in Google phones we have Google voice this is the speech recognition whatever you say it translates in some logic and replies now the third application we have is face detection you all use snapchat uh, you use iPhone X we have face detection algorithm it detects who you are and adapts to your changes and we also have some theorem proving algorithms we have artificial intelligent agents that 
prove the theorems by their logics. Now we have intelligent behavior in humans. What human can basically do is perception. Perception means ability to see, hear, sensory information. Now us humans can see and hear. That is we perceive something. We can reason, reasoning. Reason with the information that we currently have. We can learn, learn for new situation. For example, we don't know how to ride a bicycle, but when our parents or friends teaches us, we uh, can easily learn to ride a bicycle. This is learning ability in human beings. Also, we have some understanding languages. We can understand new languages or we can understand our mother language, Hindi or English, and we can solve problems given to us. This is the capabilities of human beings. Now we want our artificial intelligence systems to solve all these problems. We would be discussing the some applications of artificial intelligence. First of all, it is computer vision. Computer vision means uh, able ability of a computer to see. We have image recognition. We have some images. For example, we have dogs or cats and the computer uh, detects whenever the image is shown to him as whether it is an image of a computer computer image of a dog or a cat we have robotics for example the Sophia it is the first robot which is capable of uh, a hell lot of deeds and she got her first citizenship in Saudi Arabia now we have natural language processing by natural language processing we mean that we can convert one language into another and we can also detect some handwriting handwriting recognition amnest is a data set that is present over cloud it is a machine learning algorithm now we would be discussing machine learning also in next lectures now we have speech recognition or speech processing these are some applications of AI whatever is speak we speak uh, it converts into some other speech now we have some weak AI and strong AI weak AI deals with the creation of computer based AI that cannot truly reason and solve problems it is not guaranteeing that it can solve your problem but it can act like as if it were intelligent so basically it is a kind of device that stimulate intelligences now we have strong AI strong AI deals with the cognitive mental status that can think reason understand the behavior all right now we have some limitations of AI AI cannot understand natural language robustly not completely it can understand we all know that example it cannot read and understand newspaper articles AI cannot serve the internet it is still lacking there and it cannot interpret a visual scene visual scene for example it cannot create a new story out of that and it cannot learn a natural language for example uh, it cannot learn a complete new language it cannot exhibit true intelligence and autonomy it is not the current situation is it is not completely autonomous but we cannot guarantee that it can be completely autonomous or not in upcoming years and it is still not exhibiting the true intelligence that is in human beings so these are some limitations of AI in the next lecture we would be discussing uh, intelligent agents all right so goodbye for now Thank you. Thanks for watching.